So I'm going to talk about something a little different, even though it's in the same wheelhouse of soulless NPCs. I'm going to talk about a true crime story about Roger Ebert, who I suspect murdered a babysitter, which sounds insane, but it's not. In a situation like this, it's a comedy of errors where the police don't seriously investigate individuals of some notoriety. And it also is related to Hollywood PEDOs. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that word because this stuff is so sanitized. But all of that comes into play. You, know, you can read his you can read his screenplay or see his movie Beyond the Valley of Dolls and know he's a little perverted. <laughs> you can also read what he said about women. Like what how he, how, what his views on women are. So in 1981, a Canadian babysitter was slain. Her name was Kelly Cook. She was slain. At the time, it was a creep calling a lot of babysitters. And I suspect it was Roger Ebert. He wouldn't give his name. He was very nervous about giving his name. He was picking up classified ads, calling babysitters, offering them money to have relations. <laughs> so, I suspect he picked up Kelly, which is why he didn't want anyone to know his name. He's a narcissist. Even though he wasn't that famous at the time, he would still think someone would know his name. That's why he's given a fake name when he calls. He picks up Kelly and offers money for relations. And then she takes it, but then afterwards she starts crying and he's worried about her getting in trouble. You know, he's got big things coming up. That TV show where he gives a two thumbs up and two thumbs down is right around the corner. You don't want that ruined. So he justifies taking her life. That's what I suspect happens. Now, the only evidence they have is just the crime photos, which is not many folks running around looking like that. <laughs> and it's just in Canada. He's in Chicago. It's not, it's not anything that's not plausible. But this is kind of what they mean by like Hollywood, Hollywood abusers and, and predators. And, and it's a real thing. It's not as extensive as some of these folks say. These are folks who think that 5G caused COVID. A lot of them. Are, but it is some truth to that. And this is one of those stories that flies under the radar that kind of proves it. Think about it.